Be very careful not to do that, the BFG said. You would be giving me a cranking earache. The nice thing about being there was that she could whisper directly into his ear. You was tickling me a bit, the BFG said. Please do not jiggle about. I'll try not to, Sophie said. Are you ready? We yelled the BFG. Don't do that. I didn't do anything, Sophie said. He was talking too loud. He was forgetting that I is hearing every little thing a ling a ling fifty times louder than usual and there he was shouting away right inside my ear. Oh gosh, Sophie murmured. I forgot that. Your voice is sounding like thunder and trumpets. I'm so sorry, Sophie whispered. Is that better? No, cried the BFG. It sounds as though you is shooting off a bunder bliss. Then how can I talk to you, Sophie whispered. Don't, cried the, BF cried the poor BFG. Please don't. Each word is like you is dropping buzz bombs in my ear hole. Sophie tried to tried speaking right under her breath. Is this better? Sophie said. She spoke so softly she couldn't even hear her own voice. That's better, the BFG said. Now I'm hearing you very nicely. What is it you was trying to say to me just now? I was saying, are we ready? We's off, cried the BFG, heading for the cave ent entrance. We's off to the meet her magister, the queen. Outside the cave, he rolled the large round stone back into place and set off at a tremendous gallop.